What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you guys enjoy today's content, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome WWE Supercard action where we do monthly giveaways as well. So come check us out, whatnot, and so forth. And the road to 16k, yikes. So close. It's just on the tip. The tip of a nipple. You thought I was going to say penis, huh? Psych! Anyways, so in this episode, boys uh, and gals, uh, we have pretty much some stuff. Uh, we have uh, Global Hype Rewards. We have TBG Rewards. We have Pro in the Dream. So we do have a nice episode. Uh, I've noticed that Supercard right now is like, when it comes to numbers and stuff, Supercard is dropping pretty rapidly right now it's like i know a lot of people are losing interest right now because it, it's been now three months close to now four no it's been about four months now close to four months since it dropped in november and now we're in middle of february we still have like another month month and a half left until the new tier and it's like i know a lot of people are losing interest and you know for me it's really hard to show something that will keep people's interest in right now. So, you know, I'm doing my, the best that I can. Keep you guys still interested. But I know it's hard right now because we're at that se peak of the season where it's like, is there anything else new? And you're like, no, not right now. There, so, I'm doing my, the best that I can, guys. So, yeah, I, I, I usually I would take a break at this time, not even upload because we're like four months in. But, you know, doing that... Is very like uh, it doesn't really work out in your favor. You know, you start losing stuff, and then you gotta do all, like climb back up. And I don't want to do that to you guys again. Like like I've always done them previously, like seasons two to four. Like I like I just didn't give a shit. So I'm gonna try my best to give give you some awesome. Content. I would like to probably maybe do some, like, some collabs that we could do challenges. That would be freaking wicked. But yeah, sorry that I'm talking most of this video right now because. Uh, I, I have to say this because I, I see what the numbers are saying right now. So a lot of people kind of mad right now on Supercard. But let's get into today's video. Uh, let's start out with... Uh, they did have, they have this new brand new pack. Honestly, it's not that bad of a pack. I'm not going to buy it because don't get me wrong. I love Jim the Anvil Nightheart. But the odds that you getting him within six packs is hard because it's Beast is Shattered. So I don't know. It's 1,000 credits as well i think that's a little pricey i think 500 would have been more reasonable so you know six thousand credits to possibly get anvil it's not that bad of a deal but he would be the only beneficial and don't forget we had anvil and we had uh was the other one cesaro so yeah but i i would it's not that bad super six deals also back in the store which is pretty uh pretty decent as well uh, i would say so Take up that pack. Uh, Heartbreaker is just a useless pack. Wouldn't buy it. Don't buy the booster. And so forth and so forth. Anyways, uh, we won Team Battleground. So let's start with Team Battleground first. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we get. Wasn't that hard. We did have a gothic team, but they really show no interest whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and claim our... Rewards from TBG. Can we get a Shattered? And we get another Shattered. Yikes. That's like four in the last five besides the L. So, yay. Uh, can this finally be the Samoa Joe? I keep saying Samoa Joe and I, I never get him. Is this finally Samoa Joe? And it's Pete Dunne. It's another pro. I don't even think it makes my deck. But, hey, we got, we got Pete Dunne back to back, I think. That was Pete Dunne back to back. I think he was the last one I got, and Luke Gallows. I think I could finally pro that Bray Wyatt card that I've been dying to pro. Oh no, I got rid of I got rid of him. Yikes. Alright, but at least Pete Dunn's a pro, so that's cool. Anywho, let's get into over the limit now. The rewards for over the limit. I'm very proud of you guys for hitting the 150k mark. Uh, I'm glad we all could do it. If you guys contributed to the hype, thank you. You are the real MVPs. Uh, to those people who only did a hundred, thank you, I guess. 
I really feel like people who do a thousand should get these rewards. But I know it's tier based, so I can understand people do not want to like play hard. So we get here two superstars. I believe it's Gothic to Shattered, and then a support which is Gothic to Shattered. So will we be will, will we be lucky to get something good in these pack? I don't know. Nope, we get shit. Uh, Miss Elizabeth Gothic, Nikki Cross Gothic, and Leo Rush, who apparently was on Wikipedia was pronounced dead on Wikipedia. I found that kind of funny, even though he's not dead. Someone, well, of course, it's Wikipedia. You can edit stuff. But someone put he died. So, wow. So, that's that. Uh, so, TVG, we got so, we got a pro. Now, there is not been announced that Ring Domination is Randy Orton. And it's pretty much an Elimination Chamber theme. Thanks to my boy, the Messiah Omen. Shout out to Messiah. His Twitter down below in the description. If you guys want to check it out. He has uh, already... Showing the cards, what we got. So we got Randy Orton as a shatter. We got Neon Mustafa Ali. We have Jeff Hardy Gothic. And then apparently SummerSlam, Goliath and SummerSlam uh, 30. Uh, wow, I said SummerSlam. SummerSlam 18, Goliath. And WrestleMania 34 is going to be between Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, and Samoa Joe. So yeah, that's how Team Ring Domination is going to be. If anything is a pro for you guys, I hope you guys have a good time. Randy Orton will be another pro for me because I already have... One pro of him, but I also have another one. I have a single of him, and he's top tier, so I'll gladly pro him normal. But yeah. Anyways, give me one. All right, man. So to end off this video, we're going to go ahead and be proing up. We have this Adam Cole. Don't know why, but he was almost done anyway, so I figured I'd finish him up. I think he's mid tier, about 15th, or probably 20 or 30 after with all the ties. He's like, he's mid tier ish. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and check right now if he is done completely token-wise. Yep, he's done there. He's done there. Token-wise, he's done there. He's done there. So, yep, Adam Cole is done, baby. We're going to go ahead and pro him up. And yay, Adam Cole. Another start to the catalog. Yay, catalog. And now we have the Velveteen Dream. Both are 40, 40, 40, 40, 20. All tokened up in the same two stats. Clearly... Six six three. Six six three. How I do it all the time. So forty for forty. All good. Let's go. Come on. And the Velveteen Dream is now completed. Uh, I still got a pro Kofi Kingston up. I think I'm gonna perfectly pro him. We do have a Velveteen Dream that we could also pro as well. And now we also have Pete Dunn. I'll decide whether or not, if I do want to pro those or not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now max out the Velveteen Dream, of course, because why not? Do have so many cards I can get rid of. So we'll lock you in. We'll lock you in. Sorry for the noise in the background. If there is, you could hear the sirens and stuff. Uh, so let's get rid of. Zack Ryder. And we actually get rid of all these because I really don't really care about them at all. So let me get rid of first my enhancements that I do not really care about. Uh, dream. Yikes. And let's just get rid of all you because we don't need you at all. And there we go. Velveteen Dream is completed. All the way max. You're going to add a 6-6. Six, six, and I usually add 4 to the proc because why uh 4400 or you could add 926 to speed you really want to give away 4.4k just for an extra 900 speed not in my book man nope so that's how i usually pro my cards we'll add a momentum slot just to see how he looks but the thing is i don't have any momentum slot so i can't but we'll get three slots this week at least because uh with the royal rumble it really helped me with uh other stuff so yeah anywho guys that would do it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it uh if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome wwe supercard content as always keep it real here every day that we can i know the content's a little slow right now when it comes to you know new stuff but wrestlemania 35 is just around the corner give us kofi versus daniel bryan i would love to see that match as you, guys, you guys know, I'm going to WrestleMania 35. So I would love to see that. Yes, I'm really debating on vlogging the whole 
time I'm at WrestleMania. Uh, but you know, with the whole copyright shit, I don't know how I'm going to do it properly. So, yeah. But we'll see. Because like, that video is going to take all day. And then, you know, not getting that monetized would suck. <laughs> and, you know, WWE with their copyright is just insane. So I'll probably have to do a face reaction the entire time. And honestly, I'm not really a fan of face reactions. I'm not really a fan of it. So if, if I'm not a fan of it, why would I want to do it? But, you know, eh, we'll see. But yeah, give us that match. Uh, Elimination Chamber was actually decent of a pay-per-view last night. I would say it was like maybe a 7 out of 10. So it was overall a decent good show, in my opinion. Besides, like, you know, the Corbin shit was whack. I uh, wasn't really a fan of the Bobby Lashley, Little Russ stuff. As uh, Those two were pretty much the draggers for me. But yeah, and then, of course, Ruby Riot getting fucking destroyed. Like, what a joke. But other than that, decent show. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy this. See you next time. Take care. See you on the next one.